Hello friends, welcome to Environmental Science, Unit 1, Natural Resources, Food Resources. Under this, in this video, we are going to see world food problems, changes caused by agriculture and overgrazing, effects of modern agriculture, pesticide problems, water logging, salinity and case study. Food Resources Food is necessary for the growth and development of living organisms and human beings. We get our food from the agricultural products, animal husbandry products and by means of fishing. So the major food is obtained from the traditional and land based agriculture and livestock in our country. So although India is self sufficient in food production, it is only because of the modern agricultural patterns. World food problems. Uh, first one is increasing population. Though the food production has increased all over the world as well as uh, in India, due to the overgrowth of uh, population, our needs also have increased greater than the production. And the prices of food grains are also uh, shooting up due to the droughts and floods in the country. Unbalanced diet. An average Indian is able to take only carbohydrates in his food as he depends on ill nutritious grains only. Then the protective foods like the milk, fish, egg, fruits and vegetables are absent in the meal. So it leads to a condition called malnutrition. Uh, an average person requires 2500 calories per day in his food but the lack of uh, enough calorie leads to weakness uh, that is inability to, uh, inability to move or do any work. Reasons for unbalanced diet uh, it may be a less production of uh, protective food and refraining from uh, eating meat, fish and eggs due to the religious causes or religious reasons. Uh, some religion may ban the eating of non-vegetarian food may be one reason and uh, unawareness of balanced diet among the people so some communities such as uh, and especially the tribal community people still uh, are facing serious food problems which lead to malnutrition especially among women and children malnutrition leads to stunted growth mental retardation uh, social and developmental disorders among children. Next, the distribution of uh, food grains is uh, far from being satisfactory. That is, it is essential that the available food grains in the country should be distributed to the public at a fair price and in appropriate time is one main factor. And uh, the price of food grains is also increasing day by day to a higher level while the income has no appropriate increase to meet the uh, increasing uh, price of food grains. Hence, uh, the poor people are unable to avail two meals a day. Around 840 million uh, people in the world are starving for uh, food. Uh, it is according to uh, Food and Agricultural Organization. And around 18 million people worldwide uh, most of them are uh, children die each year due to starvation or malnutrition. Uh, and now uh, an important uh, one uh, which we have to see is uh, wastage of food. So many of us are wasting a large amount of food in many occasions even at uh, homes and uh, in many parties and occasions and functions. Uh, many of us are wasting a large amount of food carelessly and this creates a stress on our environmental resources. Next is the changes caused by agriculture and overgrazing. Overgrazing. Uh, in India, the rural life depends on the livestock, that is, the cattle, sheep, goats, horses, and other uh, domestic animals. And uh, the land with the green cover is generally used to feed uh, these livestock. This huge amount of uh, livestock population in the country. So, hence, uh, the overgrazing is an unavoidable one, and the overgrazing is a major uh, hazard affecting the grassland, forests, and mountains in the country. 
the forests are degraded due to the increasing number of uh, livestock and uh, migrating uh, grazers. So, the effects of overgrazing results in the uh, soil loss, then loss of uh, soil structure, soil nutrients. That is, the fertility of the soil is also lost by means of overgrazing. Grazing destroys the vegetal covers. So, the vegetal covers uh, actually act as the soil binders and they protect the soil from erosion. And uh, moreover, the grazing enhances soil duration by the activity of wind and rainfall. Then, the removed soil gets silted in irrigation tanks, reservoirs, sea and river beds and thus causing problem in those areas. Then, the loss of useful species. Overgrazing affects the growth of plant species and their regeneration capacity or the reproducing capacity of those plants. Effects of modern agriculture, fertilizer problem. Fertilizer is a very essential for increasing the productivity of agriculture and fertilizers contribute to 70% of growth in the agricultural field. And the application of chemical fertilizers uh, creates environmental problems. They are um, the fertilizers when washed off the lands through um, the process of irrigation, uh, rainfall, and drainage into rivers and streams, uh, mix in domestic water supply. The increased level of phosphates and nitrogen in the aquatic ecosystem causes eutrophication. Eutrophication is a condition uh, in which uh, there is a growth of more amount of algae, uh, plants and animals in any aquatic ecosystem. So, this uh, more amount of uh, growth of these organisms causes a lack of oxygen and nutrition in the aquatic ecosystem. So, due to this condition, the organisms have to compete among themselves and at last they have to die. The environmental problems caused by pesticides here harm to fish uh, fish mortality occurs following the leaching of poisonous biocides from the agricultural fields into the nearby rivers or streams after the rainfall then harms are caused by uh, herbicides herbicides uh, they not only kill the unwanted herbs but also affect the soil microbes. So the soil microbes are affected by the herbicides such as the nitrogen fixing blue green algae and bacteria are also affected by the application of herbicides. The consequences of pesticides like DDT. Uh, DDT is one of the most effective pesticides uh, known so far. Uh, DDT has the harmful effect on fish, uh, penguins, birds and uh, human being also. Uh, some countries, hence, some countries have already uh, legally banned its use. The harm caused to fishery and wildlife. Uh, pesticides drain into the nearby water bodies, cause the loss of fishery and wildlife. Then, the wild birds and mammals which are exposed to pesticides suffer by death and reduced survival growth and also reproduction so even the reproduction of birds are also affected very much here we have to note one thing that the chemicals from the pesticides also affect the eggs laid by the birds the egg cell becomes in this case the egg cell becomes very thin hence the eggs are easily broken and the life cycle of the bird is also broken due to the uh, reduced thickness of the egg cell. And uh, some species of uh, eagles on the top carnivores are known to be eliminated by DDT. Nowadays, we can uh, see that um, uh, there are no eagles flying in the sky because the eagles and other uh, such uh, carnivore birds uh, which perform the function of cleaning the environment uh, have been exing extincted from the world. Harm caused to bees. Bees widely help the pollination of several plants. So bees are responsible for the pollination of many several plants 
and the pesticides adversely affect some honeybees and other useful insects that help in the pollination. Harm to human beings. Human beings are exposed to pesticides mainly through the intake of food and water and also by inhaling the contaminated air. And several pesticides are teratogenic. That means a condition in which the physiological development is abnormal and mutagenic. Here, the, um, there is a permanent change in the genetic material like DNA and RNA. And in some cases, it is also a carcinogenic, that is a cancer causing. So all these problems are caused by the um, pesticides to human being. And moreover, it also causes the Parkinson's disease, in which um, condition, uh, this is a disorder in which uh, the central nervous system is affected. Water logging and salinity. Intensive irrigation leads to water logging in agricultural land. This water logging leads to anaerobic condition in the soil which affects the productivity of crops and plants. More concentration of salt creates salinity, a condition called salinity, in which the dissolved salt accumulates on the soil surface and increases the concentration of salt. And the over concentration of salt affects the absorption process and uptake of nutrients by plants. Here, the absorption and uptake of nutrients by plants is also get affected. And if the drainage system is poor, water accumulates underground, uh, underground and gradually raising the level of water. So the roots of plants then get enveloped in this saline water and eventually they have to die. Here is a case study. According to a study conducted in India, the pesticide called organochlorine such as DDT and HCH constitute more than 70% of the pesticides used at present in our country. Here, Delhi, Bhopal and other cities and some rural areas have indicated the presence of a significant level of pesticides. We have to note this, a significant amount of pesticides present in the freshwater systems and also in the bottled drinking water samples collected by the study. So far in this video, under natural resources and food resources, we have seen the world food problems, changes caused by agriculture and overgrazing, the effects of modern agriculture and pesticide problems, water logging and serenity and case studies. Thank you.